What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Summit Tech once again. I was trying to live stream and play some Metro Exodus today, and I realized while I was trying to play it, I was going through settings and tweaking stuff, trying to get a, a playable with RTX on kind of experience, and I started noticing that my uh, boost clock was going all over the place. Now, I did see some reports of issues with that on RTX. However, I wanted to confirm that nothing was wrong with my card, so I went ahead and ran myself some benchmarks and I realized that on Firestrike Ultra for example I was only hitting about 4,000 points on the GPU score while most people were hitting quite above that 6,000 to 7,000 points and so I obviously have an issue and so I need to figure out what's going on now when I've seen this happen before with the bouncing core clocks uh, even if the the GPU is reporting properly in something like hardware monitor, it typically means that there is a a pad off or something like that. So we're going to have to get in here and drain the system and then go ahead and pull the water block off and see what's going on. So let's go see what's what's happening. Okay, so let me take you on a tour, guys. Um, I actually haven't finished the full build log of this because we've been so busy and ran to Atlanta as soon as we finished it. I am gonna do that, but I actually have to fix a couple other things with it before I do that. And obviously now we have another issue, but um, down here, you'll notice that I have a quick uh, disconnect. So this is actually all soft tubing that then uh, basically runs to uh, the radiator up front and then to the pump but it allows me to drain it really, really easily. I thought maybe getting a close up for you guys there would be good. So we're just going to essentially basically try to get it drained. So actually I am gonna have to pull this to the edge of the table. And we're just gonna pull this out. My cable management was not great because like I said, we were just getting it fixed. It is pretty warm. So basically I can just quick disconnect it and then unscrew it and drain it. Um, we're trying to drain the, um, just the front to get the GPU out. So I think we can just drain one side, but we'll see here in just a second. I'm gonna make a mess is what I'm gonna do. This is not as elegant as a, uh, I would like it so most of the time. We are going to have to, oop. I, I'm making huge messes. We're gonna have to release the, release the Kraken. Need some air to let loose up here. So that it'll drain. Now it should drain pretty fast. And that is everything. Out of the GPU, I believe. Yep. This is all I really need to drain. So I'm gonna put this back. Now if I pull the other side, I'll drain the whole reservoir. Which is not really what I wanna do because I want to minimize bleeding later. Still a little orange in there. How cute. All right. There we go. So, I don't know if you guys, how well you can see. We might have to turn a light around. Okay, so just by releasing that one, I drain just this one side. Sometimes some water will come out, but you can see we have none here in the top. And we have none right here. Just to be safe, we'll go ahead and throw a rag under here and get these off. Now what I messed up uh, originally was I actually had to cut a bigger hole down here because I didn't uh, place this properly. So I have another replacement case that we're gonna be putting this in. I'm gonna cut the hole properly. 
right now we have other issues to attend to. So I am gonna move this up here. It looks like everything did drain out where I thought it would, but sometimes we get a little water under here. Kind of, it'll come off the CPU block when we take this off. Luckily it doesn't seem to be the case today. Of course my whole fitting's coming off there, but that's fine. Okay. Now what I'd like to do, probably just put this in here. Just in case. Make it a little harder for it to uh, leak on me. Everything feels pretty warm, but not like disgustingly warm. <sighs> Did not try this at home. I love how that won't even work there. <laughs> oh, I tried. Okie dokie, so now that we have that all out, we're just going to take this all the way off again, which I'm not looking forward to. I'm not even sure if I have the pads and stuff to replace everything under here. They all feel kind of loose though. I want to sit it flat. I don't really want any water getting on the board, obviously. Oh, fuck, I hate that. Okay. So we know the GPU core didn't have any issues because it was rolling pretty good. And how many do we have there? So we had the one over this. We had the two over here and here. We had the one. So here's my question, right? Okay, that had indents on it. So that was sealing good, right, in theory. These had the indents on them, so they were sealing good in theory. We have the centers. Somehow I keep getting one of my own hairs to fall out of my head, probably because I'm stressed out over this. Cover here, here, and here. <sighs> Nothing is standing out as wrong or incorrect to me at this point in time, unless all of these are supposed to be covered right here. Okay, okie dokie boys. So I believe I figured it out after a bunch of Googling. What you'll notice here, and these are the original instructions I went by. You can check my YouTube video of installing this originally. And what I found was um, both EK as well as uh, Alpha Cool on their original instructions did not say to put thermal pads on, of course, uh, the phases here. So there's no thermal pads on the phases in this initial installation. And then I noticed that EK has now updated theirs and uh, stated in both their paper and online manual that you do need to put thermal pads on the phases here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any thermal pads. The other oddity about that is even if I went with the ones they originally sent me, and place it on here, the clearance wouldn't make it. Um, so I'm gonna have to get with Alpha Cool on this one and uh, get this sorted. This is uh, early adopter fun. Focus. All right, so <sighs> we pre ordered the block, we put it all together, everything was functioning fine, and it took a couple games to actually really notice. Uh, there being any anything really funky going on before I put it back together though I think we'll just do some console gaming for the rest of the week I am going to obviously get with them as quickly as possible and see you know what the hell's going on because I need to get that figured out um, and then I'll catch you guys up I'm not gonna put it back together right now because um, I don't I, I just need to get something confirmed See you guys next Tuesday.